Hey everyone, Jesse here from My Life in Arts and Crafts, and today I'm going to show you how to ditch the foam footballs, make something that's going to be a little bit more sturdy, and you won't have to replace as often. So to do this, you're going to need to make a trip to Home Depot. You're going to need four things, three things per each one, but four things if you want to pick up this extra one that I'm going to recommend. Um, everything I show you is going to pop up on screen so you can see what it looks like in the Home Depot app. So this guy is a compression uh, donut thing. I, I don't know what it's actually for, but it works really well if you're going to make a cup turner. So I picked up a couple of these and then I also picked up this white piece which is a reducing br reducer brushing it says charlotte pipe and what it is is it's got the outside that's smooth and then it has the threads on the inside for a male adapter so that male adapter is going to have your pvc pipe slip into one side and then be able to screw into this other little white guy and you're just going to want to make sure that whatever size PVC pipes you're using, you get the same size adapter and the same size white thing. I don't know. I don't know what they're really for, but they work really well to make a tool for our turners. I don't even know what you would call it. <clears throat> so the black rings they are gonna slip on to the little white piece. They fit down inside of a 10 ounce, a 20 ounce, and a 30 ounce. The 30 ounce I feel like doesn't have enough room to hold it real stable because it is gonna slip all the way down and down past the little bend in the cup on this Ozark Trail cup. So I picked up this other adapter uh it's a flexible pvc compression brush brushing and i'm going to show you how to build this whole little piece but this works really well on a 30 ounce so let's get to building bye bye bag so if you get this one you're going to need the same attachment so i have some stuff on my turner so that i just shove this on here if you have one where you screw it on you're going to need the piece to screw it on to your turner as well but for me i just leave this as a blunt edge and just shove it on the the pipe so once you have your two pieces together you're going to want to fit them inside of here if you're using this one this one works really well on the 30 ounce so it looks like this when it's all done so here is that guy and it is quite heavy um and I just take it and I shake it a little to make sure it's not going to go flying. It doesn't go all the way in because there is a lip in there. I don't know if you can see on here. But there is a little lip down in there. So it's just going to fit in there tight until it gets to the lip. And then it's going to be in there pretty good. Now I did find that if you heat it up a little bit around the edges with your heat tool. It does make it a little bit easier to get those two in there. Because this is a really firm piece of rubber. When you do the other one, it looks like this. So you're gonna have this all the way in there, all the way up to the lip, till it's nice and tight. This again fits in a 30 ounce. You would put your PVC pipe in there. I don't have a loose one, I gotta get outside and cut some more. But your PVC pipe would stick in there. Same with this guy. And then this one fits in a little bit better into the 30 ounce. So I think I'm gonna use these guys for the 30 ounce and then these ones for the 10 and the 20 ounce now these do not work on the wine the wine glass ones because they are a lot smaller those ones will still fit on your smaller footballs so hopefully that helps anybody who has having trouble finding footballs or want something that's a little bit more permanent because these are not going to deflate because they're rubber and yeah there you go thanks for watching and i will see you guys again soon bye